Hi there, it's great to see you again. What we're going to do in this video is look at the graph of an ellipse and how it relates to specific points that are on or maybe inside the ellipse, as you can see here. So what we have pictured here is an ellipse with a point that it has distances drawn to two fixed points, which we call foci. The one on the left being at coordinates negative c comma zero and to the right c comma zero notice that the point directly between them is zero zero which we call the center of the ellipse and the ellipse has the property that any point that's on the ellipse if you add up the distances from that point to each of the foci it's always going to come out to be the same sum so as you see here the distance from this point to this focus here is 2.987, etc., etc. The distance from this point to the other focus is 5.012, etc., etc. The sum of those distances is 8. And anywhere we go on this ellipse, that always holds true. That point right there is where the distances are the same, 4 and 4 to make 8. That should make sense because this is directly in between the two foci, at least the x coordinate is. So as we go around, we notice that that D1 plus D2 in that box there does not change. So some of the distances is always equal to eight. How do we use this? Well, to develop the equation for all points X, Y that are on an ellipse, we do use a couple specific points. If we take the points that are furthest from the center at zero, zero, that's this leftmost point right here, and this rightmost point over here, those are called the vertices of the ellipse. They are the points that are furthest away from the center. So that's gonna be labeled with a certain distance and we're gonna be able to use that somehow. The other points that are really important on the ellipse are these points right here at the upper and lower end, at least when the major axis, the longer axis is horizontal, is covertices and they are the points that are the shortest distance from the center. Those are going to be instrumental in writing the equation of an ellipse as well as how do the distances between the center, the vertices, the covertices, and the foci all relate to each other. So that's all coming. So the key thing to remember is ellipse, its, its shape is determined by the, where the sum of the distances between the foci and a point are equal. And again, here you go. The sum of the distance here was chosen to be eight, and that creates an ellipse.